Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the insert command to add values into our MySQL table. So let us start and see the syntax to add values inside a table. There are certain ways in which we can add values. So the first one is uh, if we want to add a single row of value. So in that case, you just need to write insert into followed by the table name, then write values and within parenthesis, you just need to put the value set. Accordingly, by following the table structure, how you have written the fields. So accordingly, just add the values one by one, separating them by comma. Secondly, if you want to add multiple rows together, then you need to write it in the same way like you have written for the first one. So it will be like insert into, then write the table name. After that, write values. Within parenthesis, put the value set. Then end the parenthesis, put a comma, write the second row of values. Again, put a comma, then write the another set of values. If you are done, just end it with a semicolon. You can write as many values over here as you want to write. There's another technique to add data, which is by specifying the field names. That is in this way, insert into table name. Then within parenthesis, we just need to write the names of the columns such as ID, name, address, class, whatever it is. Then write values and after that write the value sets like you want to. So these are the ways in which we can add data in our MySQL table. So, so let us add it in the table now. So I will be adding data to a table named student details, which also has a foreign key relation with the table course. So at first I'll show the description for the table course. So the table course contains these two fields, which is course ID and course name. We have some data added in the course table. So I'm going to write select star from course. So there are four rows of data over here. Now, the description for student details. So that's the field uh, details that we have in this particular table. So now if we have to insert data into this table, so I have to write insert into student details values then I just need to put it in the same order how the fields are there and please be sure that the varchar values should be inside the quotes like this okay then I'm going to write a name now I'm going to write a date of birth And remember the date when we are adding in the table needs to be inside single quotes just like varchar and the format to add is year, month and date that is YY, YY, MM and DD okay so year, month and date that is the format and you must use the hyphen in between so just follow this format while entering data in the table after that marks is some integer value so i'll just write it like this percentage is a decimal value so again i'll write like this maybe something like this and course id see course id like i mentioned is a foreign key which is linked to the course table. So I need to add some value from this particular table. I can't add something new, then that will give an error. Okay, so this is the value. And since you can see that if I show you the table description, that course ID was a vacuum value as well. So again, over here, even here, you can see course ID is a vacuum. So we need to put it inside the single quotes. That's it. So as of now, I'll add one single row, terminate with the semicolon, press enter. Now you can see it says query OK, one row affected. Let us see. So for that, we need to write this command 
it will give us the see it's giving us the full record so whatever is added so far only one row is added in this table so that's it now i'll be adding two or three rows together so for that we need to write it in the same way just by separating with commas right so now I have added two rows into this table and I'll just terminate it using semicolon which I've done and I'll press enter. That's it. It says two rows affected. Now if we check the table data again like this so you can see three rows are already added. So in the same way we can add uh, values even by writing the column names. So that's it. Similarly, even by specifying the column names, we can add data to the table. But make sure while inserting values, just be very careful because if you are adding multiple rows together, so then you might uh, have chance of, you know, making some error because maybe you missed a comma, maybe you missed one inverted quotes. So please do it carefully and um, add it. Then and so be please uh, be careful while adding the values and just make sure that for integer or decimal values we don't put quotes but for date var care or care kind of data types we need to put it inside the single quotes like this okay so that's it keep practicing and watch the next video to learn more about mysql